You're watching this week's reality rap. Let's get things started with a brand new episode of Marriage Bootcamp Reality Stars Family Edition. Listen here, Dr. V and Dr. Ish, y'all would've got y'all asses cussed out that morning. Not only do I not like being woken up early, I don't like being locked in a room, and I don't like playing games before nine o'clock. I don't even take phone calls before nine o'clock. They have to work as a family to find the clues in the room, to put the keys in the lock, to get out the door. They only have one hour to do it. I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh. <laughs> Your force is not gonna work? No, I ain't gonna lose the chance. Okay, quick. All right, all right, all right. Go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. Bam. You will wake me up and tell me that I can't come out of my room before I go downstairs and get my cup of coffee? This week's family secret, Kendra reveals that she's terrified that her mother is writing a tell-all book. I'm not terrified, I'm interested. Patty is considering writing her book. So just put, is it true or false? Okay, so it's true. I don't even want to be in the same room. I don't want to look at her. I'm living in my nightmare right now. This week, don't you to go to bed, Mark? You know you're like one of my favorites, bro. Like, I told you I'm the fourth brother. But this week, no dinner go to bed for you because you did not follow the rules of the game. You broke the lock to finish first. And then you got mad and pouted about why you all didn't win, but Kendra and her mama won, even though they was last. I was trying to get my brothers out in the quickest amount of time possible. The true message of the drill was who can communicate the best. <sighs> you don't need no dinner anyway. You might just need a little protein shake. You know, you know, a hard boiled egg, you be good. This week's Boom By Y'all moment was a really good one. Patty told Kendra how she felt about Hank then versus how she feels about him now. And I think they're making some progress. Eight years ago, he seemed controlling to me. Until I got to know him better and I saw that you really did have a serious relationship, then I started seeing him differently. The way that you felt, it was coming from a place of protection and love. And now you understand each other a little bit better. Just don't mention nothing about that book. This week's countdown moment, question of the hour. Is Paula 61 or 65? She mad at Dr. V, she mad at Chad, she mad at the world because she don't know her age. That's not correct because I am 61. There we go. You got it? You get 61? It's 65. Oh, because I lied to her about 65. She was with me. Come on, man. Come on, let's go. I mean, hell, Paula drink every morning. She probably don't know if the sun is up or the sun is down, if it's AM or PM, if she's going left or right. She just know that y'all better stop asking me too many goddamn questions because she is an elder and she does not have to spar with anyone who's younger than her. So then we see at the end of the episode, the families do reverse role play. All the time, I gotta do everything myself. You know what, you're useless. Forget you, I'll just do myself. The brothers all switched up. Lord, they done got my boo situation in a pink tutu. Don't do that to my man. Don't put him in a tutu. I just wanna see him with big muscles and big chest. Don't do that to my boo. Hey guys, let's keep the social conversation going. Make sure you use the hashtag FamilyBootCamp or tweet me at Mr. Ray, M-I-S-S-T-E-R-R-A-Y. As always, you're watching Reality Rap right here on WeTV.